to focus on the present i was finally able enjoy the moment i was fighting against france he had better weapons than me but he couldn't do anything against my napoleon that i planted so it won't happen <laughs> well that's a lot from me i heard you've been busy that's right fortunately i was presented with the opportunity to come to the continent and attend to diplomatic affairs with some american nations i see but i hope you had a good time here although i came to contain for work it was an opportunity for me i couldn't be better now that i was able to see you again mexico i'm happy to see you too russia kick him out that's why i wanted to talk about What's happening? Sorry, Russia. Sorry? Because? I don't know how long I'll see you again. I must be honest with what I really feel. It's just that I avoided telling the truth. About that day when we met here again, I knew what you felt. Later, when you confessed to me that you like it, I thought that yes, I accepted. It would only be because you reminded me of the USSR. I understand. Didn't want to reciprocate just to replace it. Anyway, you agreed to stay as friends, but... Now I know, you were never USSR for me. At first, you were my best friend. When I remember those moments, it's with you. And the moments with USSR is with USSR. When we met again after years, I began to feel for you what I once felt for the USSR. I wanted to believe that this feeling was false. I love you only as a friend. A silly excuse to cling to the past. When I was honest with myself, I understood that you were someone much more special than I thought for my Russia. I would have liked to tell you correctly this. Tell you that you... Mr. Mexico. If that's true, when we meet again, I would like you to tell me. I couldn't live here if you tell me now. I'll go wherever you are and I will know that I like you. I like the scent. It's scent of roses. 